Happy 2024 everyone! As per my New Year tradition, here's a video of me previewing what's going to happen with my channel this year. Now, I do still have the goal of progressing further in my acting career, so I will be devoting a lot of time to that, but to the time I will be devoting to this channel, here's what you can look forward to. First of all, there are three episodes of Silver Screen Showdown left, and I do fully intend to finish that series this year. I know it's been kind of dragging on its feet since 2021, there's been but two episodes in 2021 and two more this past year, 2023, but I am going to be finishing those last three episodes this year, I promise you that. Um, in fact, Blade vs. Angelus are going to be filming very soon, so that episode should be coming out probably the end of this month, if not sometime in February, depending on how long post-production takes. And then there's going to be Lara Croft vs. Nathan Drake, an episode that I've wanted to do for since before this series began, really. So we're going to shoot that probably sometime in the spring, I'm thinking, and I want to shoot the series finale either in late spring or early in the summer. I don't want to wait until it's like really hot in the summer because then everybody throwing punches is just a lot harder when there's that summer heat going on. But yes, the series is going to end. I know it's some people are disappointed about that, but I do want to bring the series to a proper conclusion so I can move on to some other things in regards to acting. This year is also going to be a good mix of Switch reviews and Retro reviews. That means N64, GameCube, and Wii reviews. Now, as far as Switch reviews go, I am actually going to, at least for the first half of this year, try to cover more Switch games that I missed earlier in the Switch's lifetime. The games that came out in 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, just games that I missed for one reason or another, because I was just going through some of those and I'm like, you know, I should talk about this, or I just found some of the games on Game 5 and I'm like, how did I not know that that existed? I want to talk about that one. So I'm going to be covering those games as well as some new Switch games that come out this year. Some that I'm sure haven't been announced yet and others that have been announced like the Princess Peach game and just, you know, just adjust the schedule as we get those announcements. But yeah, I want to make sure to try to cover as many Switch games that I didn't get as possible before the next gen Switch successor comes out, which is my final point for this video. So we still don't know for sure what the next gen Switch is going to be called, um, if it's even coming out this year, but there's a lot of evidence that it's going to be more powerful than the current Switch. I mean, I sure hope so. And there's evidence that it is coming out this year, which I also really hope so because come this March, the Switch is going to be a seven year old console, which it's not like Nintendo to wait seven years before releasing a new console. So yeah, I'm really hoping that we get the next gen system. And as far as information about the next gen system, I'm only going to be talking about officially released information. So things that we know for sure are true. I'm not gonna be covering rumors because what always happens is we make videos about rumors about just whatever it is, not even Switch specific, but anything in the gaming industry. You make a video about a rumor and then suddenly something else comes out that shows that that rumor was completely bogus and the video just loses all its relevancy and it looks stupid in retrospect. So I'm not going to make any videos on rumors. I'm just going to make videos on officially released, confirmed information. And assuming that we do get the next gen Switch or whatever it ends up being called this year, I'm going to, for sure, review the system and whatever launch games it comes out with. There's some that I'm hoping it comes out with, because I know that the Killer Clowns from Outer Space, that game, that got pushed back to, I keep wanting to say next year, but this year, it got pushed back to this year. It just didn't mention the Switch, probably because it's too much for the Switch to handle, so I'm hoping that maybe that ends up being one of the third-party launch games on the next-gen system. There's just I'm really hoping that's the case. But anyways, yes, I'm going to be reviewing the system and whatever launch games it comes out with, and even after said new system launches, hopefully this year, there we go, I'll still be covering some Switch games, so I'm not going to just stop cold turkey on all Switch games as soon as the next-gen system comes out. I'll be doing a mix of both, but yeah, for sure, I'll be reviewing the next-gen system as soon as it's out, and it's launch games. So that's what's in store 
for 2024. If more of you pledge to my Patreon page, you'll be a big help in making all this happen. Here's to 2024 being better than 2023. See you all in my Jet Force Gemini review!